our shows on. Oh, yes. You've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> You're watching Kingdom Kitchen. Here's your host, Joanna Payne. Thank you, thank you, everybody. My name is Joanna Payne, and oh, oh, my back. That's better. You know what they say, no pain, no gain. <laughs> On today's cooking show, we're going to be using these various ingredients to make what we call the Jesus roll. It's flaky, it's buttery, it's sweet. And it's all about Jesus being in the tomb. We'll be right back. The story of Easter. Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus. Come in, come in. And give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate, and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. What? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on. His clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, if you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, this man truly was the son of God. 
Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. Welcome back everybody, I'm Joanna Paines and I'll be your cooking host. Right now we're gonna go over our ingredients for this delicious Jesus roll. First off, we have the croissant, cress, cress, the half moon rolls. Some people call them crescent rolls, but I call them croissant rolls. And then we have this lovely brown sugary mixture here. It is sugar and cinnamon. You just pour it on a little bowl, and give it a little mix up. Then we have a quarter of a cup of some melted butter. It is as shiny as the stars in the sky when Jesus came to earth as a baby. Mm -hmm. And then we have these little fluffy things. I think you kids call them marshmallows, but they are scrumptious. So now that we have all the ingredients set out, the first thing we need to do is preheat the oven. So let's do that. We're gonna hit bake here and then 375 start. This is gonna take a minute to preheat. So I'm just gonna sit here and, and wait. Now y'all, the oven is preheated so we can get into the good stuff. We can get into the actual mixing and making of the Jesus rolls. So we're gonna start out with some crisp half moon pastry. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It's always pretty terrifying, just saying, opening any of these things. Pop goes weasel! All right, let's get these out. Gonna roll it. Now, each of these crescent rolls is gonna be in a triangular fashion. You wanna zoom in on this camera, man? They are in this triangular fashion. Okay, you're too close now. Back it up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little knifey there. Don't use a knife without adult supervision. Ask your mama, she'll help you. We're just gonna give this a little cut to see. Another little cut right here, all the way down. Cause this won't work if it's just one sticky pastry mess. All right, so I just want to clear something up. We call this a Jesus roll, not just because we unrolled the little half moon pastry, but because this represents Jesus being buried in the tomb. So obviously the marshmallows represent Jesus. We even got these little man shaped marshmallows. Want to have a look at them there? Can you see the little eyes? They look two of them. Yeah, the little eyes right there. He's gonna represent Jesus. And so when Jesus died, he was buried in the tomb. And that's what this butter represents right here, is what they put him in to preserve him. So just throw him in a little butter there. Just give him a little swirl around. Just give Jesus a little toss. Ah, oh, there it goes. Perfect, perfect. She'll look just like that, just so shiny. And then all the good stuff they put on him to make him smell real nice, we're just gonna throw him in that cinnamon sugar right there and give him a little turn. Hey. Use the spoon. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Just make it look all delicious. Look at that. Jesus is covered in some sweet, sweet sugar right there. Then we're gonna take our little Jesus folk, put them right here in our little pastry. Now, this is the fun part. We're gonna roll him up in the tomb right here. Roll him, roll him. And look at that, Jesus is in the tomb. Now, to get real fancy, up here cameraman, to get real fancy, we're just gonna sprinkle some cinnamon sugar on top. And we're gonna do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more times before we cook it. We'll be right back. Now that 
we finished making our little Jesus rolls. Now you understand why they're Jesus rolls. It's literally Jesus rolled in the croissant. See what I did there? Yeah, so we're gonna put these in the oven. Let's just go ahead and take up oh, my back. Oh no, let's just hurry it up and just, ugh. Oh, my back, ugh. Ah, all right, all better. Hey Alexa, do the thing. The dodo is an extinct flightless bird that was endemic to the island of Mauritius. East of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. No, not that thing, the little timer thing. You know what I'm saying, Lexi? Lexi! Stupid low budget cooking show couldn't get me a better reel since it didn't set the timer. Alexa, set a 13 minute cooking timer for Jesus Rolls. Cooking Jesus Rolls timer, 13 minutes, starting now. Perfect, so we'll be right back in 13 minutes when these are all cooked up and ready to munch on. This man truly was the son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Perfect timing. Alexa, stop. Let's check on these little buggers in here. Oh my lanta! They look fabulous. Let's just take them out. Let's just Mm, I wish you could smell it, folks. It smells like cinnamon, sugar, buttery goodness. They have risen like Lazarus out of the tomb when Jesus called them out. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's just take, take a look at these. Something looks a little, a little fishy right here. Hey, what happened to the marshmallow? What happened? There's no more marshmallow. It is empty. The tomb is empty, folks. Hold on, let me just, yeah, yeah. Is the marshmallow supposed to be gone? Is the marshmallow supposed to be gone? This, this is crazy. Wow. That was crazy. I didn't see that coming, did I you? I did not see that coming. That was like total plot twist. Huh. I was not ready for that. Well, I, actually, I guess if you think about it, it does kind of make sense. Why does I, it make sense? I mean, they are Easter rolls, right? We're celebrating Easter. Uh -huh. The reason why we celebrate Easter is because that's the third day, the day that they looked in the tomb and he actually wasn't there. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so I guess it makes sense. Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? hey -o. And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And I guess that makes sense because this is Easter weekend, right? Hence the cooking show about Easter. Right. And because, you know, the Bible talks about Jesus being risen from the grave, that means that we don't have to worry about um, our sin anymore, right? It right. means that Jesus has completely saved us. And that's super exciting, right? It super. means that we can 
live in freedom. We can love Ooh. Jesus. We can do all these amazing things with our friends and worship in public because Jesus saved us, right? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to we're going to worship him. Sounds pretty good. You think it sounds good? I think it sounds okay. great. all about the story that we just learned about where um, Jesus died, but then he rose again. So he is not dead anymore. We have the only God who is alive, um, and that's pretty amazing. So we just want to sing about it. Just worship along. Um, the chorus says, forever he is glorified, forever he is lifted high, forever he is risen, he is alive, he is alive. So if you can only remember two little things, remember to sing with us forever and sing He is Alive, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Moon and stars the morning sun was dead, the Savior of the world was fallen, His body on the cross, His blood poured out to see one of us dress up dress up in a costume not like in normal clothes that are really boring but like in a costume it's either 
me in a Minnie Mouse costume or Andrew in a toga with the whole little crown thing and the sandals going on. So here's the catch. If we get, how many? Let's go for 40 likes and five shares. 40 likes and five shares. We will both dress up. Other than that, you can vote in the comments whether you want to see me as Minnie Mouse or him in a toga. So, better tune in next week to see what happens. Make her wear Minnie Mouse. What? Yes, okay. Bye. <laughs>